kind of far. Mm. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> no, never mind, okay. let's start it. Let's start it, yeah. Okay, hello, John. Nice to meet you here. Thank you. Like, nice to meet you too. Pleasure. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. So, could you tell us about your job? What you're, what, what you're doing? What I do, my role? Yeah. Um, well, I started working, um, I was invited because uh, I had done work like with government before, so all levels of government. Mm -hmm. uh, I had worked with um, DOD, so Department of Defence on Pitch Street, um, working on learning systems, so LMS systems, yeah. uh, for our soldiers in uh, you know, with the last wars mm -hmm. that we've been fighting uh, in the Middle East. And uh, I, I got invited to a lot of the security um, forums and, and I was invited to a few roles. So um, I, I do have a directorship at Global Risk in London, uh, also a directorship uh, with uh, SEC in uh, DEF, uh, which means uh, security, uh, intelligence, and uh, uh, defense. So uh, this is a company, uh, an organization that uh, is managed in Tel Aviv, and with the American government and occupying uh, throughout the different parts of Americas um, and also uh, throughout Europe and, uh, and also parts of Asia. And I represent Australia and New Zealand. So um, what I do is basically I give a, an analysis, mm -hmm. so risk analysis, more it's cyber terrorism. So before I got into cyber security, yeah. But I'm finding there's a lot more work in cyber terrorism, so you need to know about uh, cyber terrorism uh, strategies and things like that. Okay, yeah. sounds interesting. So could you tell me about your job or oh, what the job needs? To, what the? Sorry, let's record again. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, Keep it going. That's part of your because anyway. So what kind of? What the kind of? Sorry about that, I keep laughing That's for some reason. I'm <laughs> wasting <laughs> this recording. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so what qualifications and experience are required? Yeah, um, I, I got a, a technological uh, degree uh, postgraduate uh, in design and technology. Uh, so I got the technolo uh, so technology side of thing at UTS, uh, postgraduate. Um, it, it was through uh, it was actually through that that I, because um, I, a, a lot of the things that I encounter is is much more visual content of data, um, but at saying so, you've got to be analytical um, and holistic. So you look at the whole spectrum as, uh, and I when I look at things holistically, I look at things as nations and 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 their actions and their reactions. Mm -hmm. So I always think of you know. And every action has a possible, you know, has an opposite reaction. Um, it, it seems to be the the Newton theory that, that, that that's uh, so appropriate to this industry. Um, but I, yeah, you know, like uh, it's it's about communication. Um, it's about trust. Um, it's about um, you know uh, communicating with your allies, uh, seeing what people that aren't your allies um, and. I guess what the enemy is, you know, doing and their next plan. Um, it's about strategy, you know, like thinking things, you know, well ahead. Um, but as I said, um, it's it's trying to work out who's disruptive and who's not. So um, there's there's this term that we use, um, you know, weapon of weapon of mass, dis uh, not destruction, but um, distraction. So. Um, because who can distract the most? So a lot of the, and, and it's also about being, um, uh, you know, ethical, you know, and yeah. ethical means, um, you know, knowing what is good from bad, um, yeah. what is within the law, mm -hmm. um, and laws keep on changing. So I always find that the law will catch up with the criminal. So, and, and I think that uh, there will be always cold cases, so there will also be cold cases in terms of digital um, corruption. 
um, tourism and you know and so forth. Yeah, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no worries. So, uh, you're talking about cyber, cyber tourism or cyber security? Just um, I think they, they overlap. Um, I'm, I'm a part of both. No, I mean, uh, what you were talking the, yeah. in the last question. I think in the last question, I was probably um, more honed in on cyber terrorism. Yeah. I, I um, but, but I still yeah, think that there are connections. So, yeah. um, I think with, with cyber terrorism, I see that as a sort of a national thing. but but also local, you know, okay. um, but cyber, cyber security is, a, is much more of a, you know, and uh, personal. Yeah, yeah, I can see this, but, but also uh, it can also affect governments too. So okay. because governments sometimes operate very much like organisations and, and businesses, because um, they all have ABNs in this country, some countries are very different the way in which those entities operate. But, but I think um, when you're an, an advisory body for the government and for universities and things, um, you, you, have, you are obliged to report any findings that you and your um, staff find, um, whether it be interns from university, because we have internship programs. Yeah. So this will enable students from universities to be able to work within our in an environment mm -hmm. and learn. Um, when you're studying, you need to have a platform to learn at what's happening in the industry. Yeah. So um, our organisation do offer internships. Not many do, but we are. So we're always looking. Yeah. So you're happy to apply. Yeah. So <laughs> what yeah. uh, what's the hard skill this job requires? The hardest skill is keeping yourself centred. Um, yeah. I think balancing your family life, yeah. your government life, your corporate life. Okay. Um, you, you know, and also you know what your personality too, and your and your your makeup, your ge your genetic, your makeup. Um, how how to keep yourself centred so um, not to. Uh, I think your behaviours and things, I think um, you cannot be an opposite person to, you know, you can't, you cannot keep on changing your personality across the board. Yeah. Um, I, I get, it is a hard thing because, you know, obviously um, to keep yourself sane and, you know, uh, rather than, you know, I think if you're, um, you're working on so many projects, but I, I think what's also good is keep yourself reserved. Uh -huh. So even if you're on public transport, it's important that you don't, um, uh, I guess, uh, alarm yeah. people and create social panic. Yeah. I think if you are creating social panic, mm -hmm. you are just as criminal as hackers. Yeah. So right. even though you know that is going on and you're trying your best to stop it, uh, whatever the crimes are, uh, and also trusting sometimes some some people in government you cannot trust everybody. Yeah. Um, you you're trusting always your um, people colleagues that you know. Um, if you've known them more than one year or, or maybe over five year or ten year period, wow. um, you have better trust with that person. Um, and I think sometimes what you release as an individual. So data is not always digital. Remember data is what even comes out of our mouth. Yeah. Or what we hear or what we see. Mm -hmm. So data could be a collection of things like what we sense. Yeah. Um, information. Um, but if you have information there, um, if you are using it to prove a point, whether it be in court or uh, for an operation or a project, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's all about investigation. Yeah. So it is investigation without biasness because you have to investigate what you have, not what you want to have mm -hmm. or where you want to, the result to go. Um, you only, res you, so the, the, the solution is based on what you have at that given time. Um, you cannot manipulate 
the data. Um, if you do, it is not useful and it is not truthful. So if you, I think ultimately you want to know what the truth of the data is, um, if there was corruption at play. Um, I am also very skeptical of also not only the departments that um, abide by rule of law, but there are also departments like ombudsmen that check um, to see if government departments actually operate. Yeah. Um, we also have the Queen's councillors in St James Court and government agents um, that will be held liable if they were to commit a crime.